reaction to President Obama's uh, announcement uh, of airstrikes on Libya? Well, first, I support military action in Libya. Uh, I support our troops there and the mission that they've been given. Welcome to uh, Iowa, Governor. Thank you. I was encouraged to read that over 20 major U.S. corporations and businesses in this country uh, support a mandatory cap on carbon emissions. My question is, do you support those companies? And number two, what's your position, and do you support a mandatory uh, uh, cap on carbon emissions? Well, we're sure going to have to find a way to reduce our use of energy, and particularly foreign energy. Um, there are a lot of people that are concerned about global warming. I think we're probably experiencing a change in our climate. Human activity may well be contributing to it. I think it probably is. What I don't know is how much of the change is due to human activity and what action we could take that would change the trajectory of the, of the changes we're seeing, the, the global climate changes we're seeing. And like tomorrow. <laughs> Alrighty, bye-bye. Abolish the Federal Reserve, yes Thanks, or no? Guys. <laughs> that, no. No, no, I, I like mandates. Uh, the man, the mandates could, work. Could, could, the mandates beg work. your pardon. Here we, <laughs> let me, I let didn't me, know you were going to admit me, that. No, absolutely. You like mandates. Let me tell you what kind of mandates I like, Fred. <clears throat> which is this: if the ones person, you come up with. <laughs> <laughs> On the spending front, though, we're, all, we're also going to have to spend more. I hate doing that as a conservative, but I think we ought to spend more to upgrade our military equipment. It's been shot up. It's been lost in the Middle East. But the government is going to have to step forward not only with uh, monetary policy to add right. funding and capital to the capital market so we see more lending, but also for additional spending and lower taxes. And I want to get the Situation Room with Wolf Blitzer, weekdays 4 Eastern. The former governor of Massachusetts, the former GOP uh, Republican presidential candidate, Mitt Romney. Uh, governor, thanks very much for coming in. Thanks, Wolf. Good to be with uh, you I again. read your latest piece on, in National Review online, a very tough critique of the current president of the United States. And, and let's talk a little bit about some of these very sensitive issues. I'm going to play a little clip of what he said today about his number one priority. I wake up every day thinking about how to keep the American people safe. And I go to bed every night worrying about keeping the American people safe. All right. Uh, what do you think? Uh, is he doing a good job keeping the American people safe? Well, I'm glad that that's his number one concern, because that ought to be the number one concern of the president. To know about you if you're elected president. That the purpose of government is to preserve liberty, and that freedom works, that individuals, when they're left to their own, that they'll take care of themselves, there'll be more prosperity, and that there will be more peace, uh, because we won't be policing the world. And all we have to do is follow the Constitution. We put this together, you have a better economy, you have more peace, we have the rule of law, and we get rid of all the special interests because we won't have all the special interests running to Washington. And uh, they, we're facing up to a bankruptcy, and we have to deal with that. So if they listen to this message and we do the right thing, we can end the mess that we're having, even though we have to dig our way out of it because we have to pay some of these bills that we have run up, and that is the real problem that we're facing, the real crisis in our economy today. And the health of our dollar is reflecting this crisis, and that's why we have to do something rather quickly. Well,